you can't fuck, you can't drink, you can't shit, you can't sleep. What the fuck? I don't want to be straight edge. It's hardcore. It's uncensored. It's on your mark with Mark E. Extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the most extreme wrestling podcast there is. Nobody else does it. Nobody else sits with the greatest champion of all. And uh, I'm just privileged to be here and learn from him. I'm Skeeter Skyflyer. And yes, I got my job back. I got fired eight times last week, but I had to do a lot of unspeakable things. But it's worth it for the greatest person, wrestler, entertainer in the world. Marky Extreme. Yep, Skeeter. You are privileged. Do you know about your privilege? Have you have you acknowledged your privilege? I have privilege? Hmm. Hmm. You need to wake. You need to get woke. Am I sleeping? Might as well be. Because, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark. <laughs> extreme 15 plus years undefeated backyard wrestling entertainment champion and owner and on top of all that cool ass funky ass progressive ass shit i am the host of on your mark and for years we've been giving you the best wrestling content on the internet as far as shoot interviews goes and live stream goes and to add to that sick ass list now podcasts podcast goes because every wednesday via dragon wagon radio you're getting a fresh uh like a shiny uh prime delivered box straight to your ears uh uh package uh the on your mark wrestling podcast that takes uncensored and deep dives into topics in wrestling like you've never heard before you think old conrad thompson's giving you and and jim ross and tony shavani's giving you uncensored like the the best deepest dives and perspectives that you could ever get (laughs) ha no not fucking happening because there ain't nobody that can give us perspective like me the 15 plus year undefeated back of wrestling entertainment champion mark extreme and marky extreme i'd say two of your most greatest qualities are being hardcore and extreme wouldn't you agree i would absolutely agree skeeter skyflower great great way to start this off yes and what better person to talk about on this week's episode than someone who shares those qualities is you darby allen Oh, hell yeah. Dar- the old Lar- Darby Allen, man. The future of this, one of the, I would have to say, and an up next to me, the future of this business, you know, clearly inspired, uh, you know, by one of the greats. And, you know, uh, anybody that, you know, anybody in my opinion, Skier, that paints her face is fucking cool. Anybody? Tell me one wrestler who that paints her face that's not cool. I can't because I believe they're all cool as well. But I yep. feel like you've had some where you're like, I don't like that face paints. No, I don't. I can't recall anybody. Did you like it when Rico painted his face? Made him slightly cooler. Oh, uh, gold dust. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Imagine gold dust out there without face paint. Uh, I've seen it. He's got a really wrinkly forehead. Mm hmm. Well, that's that's nice to know that everyone who paints their face is cool. Yeah, and a stark contrast from last week where we, you know, talked about somebody who once claimed calls themselves cool, but it's not actually really cool. Don't go listen to the end of last week's ep- episode. Stardust. Fucking oh my god, way cooler with face paint. You put that that little bitch out there without face paint, it just looks like a weird dumb on Natrix little bitch. Zodiac, way cooler with face paint. Oh, this is. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. This is so great. I maybe I might start painting my face. We gotta thank Dragon Ragged Radio for having us on their network and allowing us to be as uncensored as we are. As uh, I don't think that's great for children, but uh, thank you so much, Dragon Wagon Radio. And 
Go to Apple Podcasts and rate and review the show on there. It helps people find the show and know that there's a great wrestling podcast that they should be listening to. And uh, also, we pick our favorite rate and reviews on there. So be sure to give five stars and some and a nice write up, and you might win a free T shirt. And we got Patreon, patreon.com slash OYM show. You can get all sorts of exclusive stuff by supporting the show. You can get these episodes early. You can get extreme watch alongs that are exclusive to the Patreon, as well as extreme shout outs on this podcast. Isn't that right, Marky Extreme? That's right, Skeeter Skyflower. Oh, such a, what, to me, one of the most valuable perks as part of being a Skidmark over on our Patreon page. And if you want to become a part of this prestigious list, go over to patreon.com slash OIM show. But the shout outs this week are as follows. Bruce Harmeyer, Melissa Mayette, Jason K, Lame Brain, Flocka 171AC, Dylan Hinton, Tim Redbeard, Spot the Magic Ninja, Leah McLee, Rick Conley, Tom, Angela Elias, Mr. Blix, and Miguel Diaz. Well, there you have it, Skeeter. Those are the skid marks that keep the roof over the backyard and the food on the table before I body slam bitch ass pussies through it and again if you want to become a part of that pestly just list then go to patreon.com slash oim show the list that's cooler than the 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 bullet it's cooler than the bullet club and more sweet than the nwo it's the skid marks baby well we are talking about darby allen and i feel this episode's gonna go great because you love darby allen he's pretty fucking cool man and you know god dang skateboarding down there like we got dang almost fucking like bam margeras and you know um who's that from jackass from viva la bam does whatever the fuck he wants was remember that, bam was he on tough enough no he wasn't a wrestler he was a jackass he's a donkey oh god you're such an idiot go back and watch jackass it's fucking cool man it's uh, on the but, wwe network no it isn't it should be but, you know, Darby Allen is fucking cool as hell, man. And I, and I, you know, I fucking wish I could skateboard, you know, but I didn't, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not, I don't have the patience to learn. What, what's a, what's a hobby, Skeeter, you think I could, I could pick up? Juggling. And, mm, I don't think that that would make me look cool. But I juggling. think it'd make you look super cool. Really? Yeah, because everything you juggle could be on fire. <sighs> this seems like a lot of work. I want something that I can just like pick up and don't have to like learn. Yeah. You don't have to learn juggling. You just throw stuff in the air and catch no, it. No, you, that's not true. You, you, you ever tried juggling? No, exactly. It ain't easy. I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm sure I make you juggle. I ain't never seen one juggling wrestler once. It's a good point. Maybe I, maybe I need to once, you know, this only this special occasion. Take your advice. Oh, wait a second. They have that whole festival with the juggling wrestlers. Those wrestling, are juggalos. Those, yeah, the jugglers. That's, that's ICP. Oh. Uh-oh. Is what? it the kitty cat? What? Did the kitty cat be No, the it's ain't fucking insane. Don't start. Don't fucking start. Insane clown pussy, Skeeter. Not fucking... Oh, God dang it. Oh, we're already slipping and slopping on down that wrong slope again. So they can juggle? They might. That might be how they got their names. I don't know. I've never understood what juggalo means. Maybe it means they they started as jugglers. Well, if they don't know how to juggle, I think Mark Extreme should be the first juggling wrestler. Maybe I will be. Darby Allen, born Samuel Ratch on January 7th, 1988. In Seattle, Washington. Growing up, Rash took part in track and field and played football as one of his grandfathers had played in the XFL. He also took part in collegiate wrestling, but only because he assumed it was professional wrestling. Marky Extreme, what is the difference between collegiate wrestling and professional wrestling? Um, collegiate. What? Collegiate. What is it? Collegiate. Collegiate is um, a bunch of little bitches, and wrestling's a bunch of badass motherfuckers out there swinging kendo sticks, bleeding all over each other. You know, so uh, tell you tell me what the difference is. So they don't have kendo sticks in collegiate. 
Nope. It's boring as fuck. So what do they do? They fucking fuck each other. You seen it? It's fucking creepy. And you know, 2021, you go out there, fuck who you want. I'm not judging whatsoever. You know, as long as there's consent. But it's it creeps me out. So they make love? Yeah. That sounds kind of nice. Well, maybe you should go out there and be a collegiate wrestler. Are you going to open up a collegiate wrestling training school? Not a chance in hell. Nope. No offense, no, 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 not knocking anybody that wants to do that. I'm just saying I don't want to. Don't come, don't bring it near me. What if Nia Jax signed up? Well, that's a different story, Skeeter. Depends on, you know, if I got Nia Jax across from me in a collegiate wrestling ring, you know, or fucking Trish Stratus or Sables or something, you know, <laughs> yeah, I would collegiate, res- collegiate wrestle them, but the, you know, that's probably likely not going to happen. Rash later attended a film school in Arizona, dropping out to pursue a career in skateboarding. Through his connections with Matt Schlager, Ratch regularly appeared in videos with his friends on ridiculousness until one video was too extreme for the program to air. Mark Extreme, do you watch that show Ridiculousness? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot like Jackass. It's... I don't understand that. How is it like a donkey? Jackass was a f- MTV show, you stupid bitch. And it had all these fucking cool dudes and they would just do dumb shit to each other. And they got paid millions of fucking dollars and now they're super famous. It had Johnny Knoxville, Bam Margera, Steve-O, w- fucking Wee Man, you know, Don Veter, and... Don Vito and you know it's ridiculousness is a lot like that you just got one dumb one fucking weird dude hosting and this girl who laughs like an idiot I mean I've seen Shrek because that's got a donkey in it and then it's also got Shrek and I think that's pretty fun so like that yeah Skeeter Jackass is like Shrek we should watch that then that sounds like a good time. Not going to happen. Have you ever been on the show Ridiculousness? They contacted me, but they wanted, you know, one of my clips. Um, and they said that they called and they're like, hey, we saw this clip of you online doing a triple backflip off the roof and and hurting yourself. It's hilarious. And I said, what's funny about that? And I, and I stopped the call and I said, no, 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 motherfucker. M- quote, unquote, MTV executive. What's funny about that? And then they're like, we want to pay you all this money. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I take this business very seriously. And I put the, put the phone next to my asshole and I farted and I hung up. And, you know, so I could have, but, you know, I don't, my, my, uh, my respect for this business means more than, than money sometimes. But to question that, wouldn't it be good to, expose yourself to the public i expose myself to the public on a daily basis now if yes if i was on ridiculousness you know that would have allowed me to expose myself to to a why to the public even on more on a bigger platform but that my time will come uh you know when i get you know the chance and wwe wakes the fuck up or AEW wakes the fuck up and you know wants to put me on their stage, then I will walk out there and expose myself to the public like I never have before. And, you know, but that's my time will come. I look forward to that. And I will be sitting front row for about three years. Rash was intentionally homeless. Why didn't Darby Allen live at his mom's house? Like you do. Skeeter, you never think you never thought about that. You know, maybe somebody does it, you know, their home life isn't butterflies, titty farts, and rainbows. You know, what? maybe maybe he had a rough home life. And maybe the streets were m- more comfortable for him. What? How can you have a bad home life? Oh, my God. Are you stuck in a fucking 1950s sitcom? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? There are people... Uh, I can't, I don't even know how to open that can of worms, Skeeter. Oh, can opener. Shut the fuck up. 
you know, just because you're made in a fucking lab and you don't technically have parents, there's a lot of people that technically do. And they, they, you know, there's abusive households. There's, there's people that don't have fathers. Skeeter. Yeah, but that's your thing. That can't be everybody. That's not, that is a lot of people. You fucking insensitive bitch that don't have a fucking father. They don't have a mom. They don't have a stable home life. And you know what I'm saying to those kids? Come real close to the microphone. I'll be your dad. Let me be your father figure. Put your tiny fucking hand in mine. That's a lot of people you're adopting at this point because you're still trying to adopt six Sean Pac- Sixpock Waltman. Yeah. And now you're going to take in all these kids that are abandoned kids. Don't have parents. You know what? Some if I got to be their hero, somebody's got to be. Are you just recruiting more backyard wrestlers? Maybe I am. You know, that might be in the in the fine print. You know, it might be in perpetuity that you are a backyard wrestling entertainment contracted wrestler for the rest of your life. But, you know, if that's a little fine print clause that to have a a father figure in your life, then I think that that's perfectly fine and these kids can shut the fuck up and stop being little bitches. Grunge music originated in the Seattle, Washington area, where Darby Allen is from. According to Wikipedia, grunge music lyrics are typically angst-filled and introspective, often addressing themes such as social alienation, self-doubt, abuse, neglect, betrayal, social and emotional isolation, psychological trauma, and is a desire for freedom. Is that why Darby Allen is such a gloomy Gus? It's possible. I think that, you know, the type of music that you listen to, uh, uh, it, it can, um, can make, can help, can shape you to be the person that you are. For instance, what kind of music do you listen to, Skater? Alphabet Song, Wheels in the Bus, um, uh, oh, what's that song? Oh, uh. Alphabet song. Yeah. Well, you've said enough. See, case in point. And for me, I only listen to my own original music, music I make myself. You know, so um, that says a lot about me, too. Are you working on new songs? I'm, you know, I'm a one hit wonder and I'm over the years just carving away and perfecting Baby Wake Up. That's a great song. That's a great song. I you ever going to release a single? It's not ready yet. Well, I certainly would like to see Darby Allen smile a lot more, wouldn't you? No. It's cooler when he doesn't smile. Like when Sting was in WCW and he was the crow, Mommy started speaking Spanish and smiling and fucking... Not being the the sad, angry crow, it got weird, and I wasn't as into it. I want him to be. I want Darby Lee Allen to be miserable. I want him to smile. Well, you know, people want you to be dead sometimes. That can't be true. And I do. I well, think about it a lot. That's true. You do say that a lot. But you're I just think, one person. Yeah. Well, that's all it takes. So don't ever fucking forget that. Rash made his professional wrestling debut in 2015 under the name Darby Graves before changing it to Darby Allen. Allen debuted for World Wrestling Network at Evolve 59 in April 2016, losing to Ethan Page. At other Evolve events, Allen fought Mustafa Ali, Roderick Strong, and Cassius Ono. He ended his relationship with Evolve and World Wrestling Network after only three years. I guess Darby knew it was the right time to leave and move on. Mark Extreme, how do you know it's the right time to leave? Uh, There's many reasons, you, you know, one could think that it's time to fucking stop what they're doing when you, you know, you know, when something's run its course, when nobody gives a fuck anymore. When numbers aren't climbing, you know, when, you know, you're doing the same fucking shit over and over with no results, you know, 
but I wouldn't know what that's like. Um, but you know, some people experience that and I feel bad for them. Yeah. That's gotta be real rough. I imagine it would destroy your, your confidence and what you do. Yeah. Well, you know, there are some things Skeeter that can rebuild that confidence. And one of those things is one of the shirts over at, uh, on your mark show.com, the exclusive on your mark podcast t-shirts Skeeter Skyflyer, tell the fine listeners at home. Some of about some of the exclusive podcast shirts they can find it on your mark show.com. Well, there's the, the logo for this show, which is super cool. It's you and me standing together and it's, and it's like this cool laser tag room. And that's available. You can get that on a mug as well as a mask. Because I know a lot of people, I guess luchador wrestling is a big thing these days. People wear masks. So you can get that as a shirt or a mug or a mask. And then there's also from the president of this company, Dragon Wag Radio, there's to ride mm, shirt. And you know what? Take this out of the podcast, Skeeter. But I think that, uh, you know, some, some of the things that uh, the president of dragon wagon radio uh, suggests like keeping up the toll ride shirt might be uh, the dumbest fucking suggestion in the world and he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about but mm, we're gonna take this out uh yes you can get all of those uh shirts and more uh at on your mark show.com darby allen lives a straight edge lifestyle what is straight edge and is it cool <sighs> I'm very conflicted here because Darby is cool as fuck. You know, uh, if I could snap my fingers, I would, I would probably, you know, want to look similar to him, you know, you can't snap your fingers. Oh my God. Here. I know juggling's maybe juggling's harder, but here, just like that. Stop it. Just like that. Every snap you're doing right now, keep going. I can do the other hand, too. Look at that. You know how many times you just snapped? How many times did you just snap? More than four. Okay. You're more than four times fired. So, uh, you know, while, you know, Darby Allen is cool as fuck, you know, uh, I like to chug some beers. I like to drink White Claws. I like to, you know, go out there and, you know, when my, my girlfriend Tammy isn't looking and, you know, uh, you know, with woman's consent, you know, uh, give them, uh, let them, you know, kiss them on the cheek, maybe, you know, um, fuck man, that's a rock star life, you know? Um, and you know, the fact that the, the, uh, the, uh, the, to live a lifestyle that, you know, it's just like, to, okay. Hey Marky, if you're straight edge, you know, it's guaranteed to be cool. Okay. But then you can't fuck, you can't drink, you can't shit, you can't sleep. What the fuck? I don't want to be straight edge. Oh, I guess if it cuts out all that stuff, then that'd be real tough. Cause I mean, how do you not poop if you're straight edge? You tell me, man, there, you got all these straight edge motherfuckers doing it. I don't know how they do it. That's pretty crazy. I mean, that's, that's extreme. That's real extreme. Mm, it's a, it's a version would you say being straight edge is more extreme than your lifestyle of being extreme? Fuck no. <laughs> I dare a motherfucker to hit the towns with me and try to keep up. Yeah, but could you... I dare you to not poop for a day. I I don't want to do that. That sounds miserable. It's not very extreme of you to not take a dare. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll try to not shit for a day. But I am not doing more than one day of water. Water day is one day a week, so fuck off. Darby Allen gives up a lot of size, but he has lots of speed and agility. Marky Extreme, if our listeners are thinking of becoming pro wrestlers and they don't have the size, what skill set should they have instead? If they don't, I'm trying to decipher this dumb fucking question. If they say it again. Well, Darby Allen's not a big fella. Uh huh. He's tiny, but he's he's quick and he he can move his he limbs looks cool. around. But if the people want to become wrestlers and they're not big, okay. what should they work on instead? Their cool factor. How? What are you dressing like? What do you got face paint? Can you skateboard or do some other cool kind of trick? Do you got a big honking pecker? 
I bet he does. You know, most skinny guys guys do, unfortunately. You know, big guys like me, I think that our our legs squeeze it together and stun its growth. That's my scientific uh, evaluation about small pecker. I'm not saying that I have a small pecker. I'm just saying a lot of big guys do. What? Oh, yeah, but you said it on the past. You said it on... No, I didn't. Uh, Mm-mm. Yeah, you said uh, a, a micro Mm-mm. penis. No, I'm saying there are some. I said no. You heard me wrong on past episodes. I said there are some people with micro peckers. I don't have a micro pecker. Um, I just chalk it up to. I assume that people with fatter legs squeezes the pecker together and it stunts the growth over time. But skinny ass bitches like Darby Allen, it's just a free flowing hog that grows nonstop. Um. So you know. These are all things to consider if you can't wrestle uh, or you're not a bit, excuse me, if you're not a big guy, you know, work on one of these other things. When Alan was a young kid, just five, he was involved in a horrific car accident that took the life of his uncle. His uncle was intoxicated while driving with Alan in the passenger seat when the accident happened. Alan feels fortunate that his life was spared, but he feels... His life is filled with emotional pain ever since and says that his half-painted skull face is the way of showing the world how he really feels, which he said is 50% dead inside. He has letters tattooed on his fingers that spell out drug-free. Alan also has nothing's over to your underground tattooed on his chest and the word champ tattooed on the inner side of his bottom lip. Now... Does that make Darby Allen even cooler having all those tattoos and painted face knowing that he's gone through such tragedies? I feel a hundred percent dead inside. Should I Why? paint a whole skull on my face? Cause my life sucks. Skeeter. You know, I, I liked nobody's listening. Cause I stopped listening after the Anthem Hell episode. My life is you know, fucking sucks. You know, I got my girlfriend, Tammy. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it is what it is. But I want fucking Nia Jax. I should be in the WWE or AEW, but I'm not. I'm forced to hang out with you multiple times on a fucking weekly basis. I'm fucking micro pecker. Yeah. <sighs> I got a weight problem. I'm a... You're a champion. You own your own company. You you bring dozens of people happiness uh, when you, you put on shows. I, you you bring happiness to countless people on the podcast. And- it gets old. It gets old. You can't tell me that fucking. <sighs> you can't tell me that fucking Aerosmith doesn't go on stage. You know, sometimes every night in front of a hundred thousand people. And it doesn't get boring eventually. It's the same. It's the same cheers, Skeeter. It's the exact same situation with me. It gets. It gets old. Will I keep doing it? Sure. But fuck, man, I want more. Who is Aerosmith in Jack, Jackass? Mm-mm, no, he's not. No, it's not. Who is he? He's that guy with the big fucking lips. And he's like 93 or something like that. Who'd he wrestle? He's not a wrestler. It's a fucking band. Oh, did they play any of the WrestleManias? I don't think so. I don't know why you use that reference then when you're talking about this, because I don't know who because that is. Because I, br- I can say whatever I want on this show. I can use whatever reference I want. Skeeter, it's my fucking show. I'm sorry that you're sad. Would How about a hug? It's your your hugs make my sadness deeper. What would cheer you up right now? Money. Pood, new pooty. Fame. Glory. WrestleMania main event in the the Raymond James Stadium. Fucking the the acknowledgement I deserve. Learn knowing how to skateboard. Mega pecker. Fucking not this fucking Applebee's not making me fix the fucking window that I drove my truck through laundry list of things would make me happier. Not paying bills anymore. 
knowing who my real dad is. Oh, right. What did you just try to do? I toe ride it. I thought you wanted to make money, and those shirts are selling like like flapjacks. I don't get it. I don't get people buying those shirts, but that's besides the point. Continue, Skeeter. On April 12, 2019, Allen signed with the newly launched All Elite Wrestling. He made his AEW debut at the Fighter Fest event on June 29th where he wrestled Cody Rhodes to a 20 minute time limit draw that must have been nerve wracking Darby wrestled his boss do you think that when everyone who works for you in backyard wrestling entertainment gets nervous when they have to wrestle you Marky Extreme I gotta imagine they do you know um I I like to sometimes put myself in other people's shoes and you know uh, most of the time they don't fit but like I like to imagine what it would be like to wrestle me because I, you know, that's on my top list of dream matches is like, you know, murder match with John Cena, you know, Hulk Hogan staying, uh, the rock, you know, and, and wrestling myself, you know, and I even get nervous thinking about it, you know, because <laughs> having to like step up to my level, out there that's got to be stressful would you take it easy on you no i wouldn't i would fuck i would i'd get out there and rip myself a new asshole and then i you know and then i probably could wouldn't help the how attracted to myself i would be and i would probably i'd probably start edge lead a sex celebration right there with myself during the match after the match what if you're all bloody? Even better. Well, that's don't use a can opener on that can of worms. That sounds that sounds weird. In one of the greatest matches in AEW, we saw Joey Janela versus Jimmy Havoc versus Darby Allen in a cracker barrel clash match at AEW All Out 2019. The match had tables, chairs, skateboards with tacks, paper cuts, and even a huge cracker barrel. Jimmy Havoc won the match after he clotheslined Janela through a Cracker Barrel. Marky Extreme, what's better, Applebee's or Cracker Barrel? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Very close. This is a very tough, but I, I'm going to have to say Applebee's for sure. And, you know, we've had a Applebee's death match in Backyard Wrestling Entertainment a couple times, and, you know, it didn't really go very well, you know, a bunch of fucking chicken tenders and that's pretty much it. But I don't know, Skeeter, what's your pick? Oh, well, I've never eaten inside an Applebee's. You've only given me leftovers that were in your pocket before after well, a couple of days. Well, then you've eaten in there, yeah. Well, so what... I, it probably tastes different, though, when eating it, when it comes out hot and fresh. Nah, don't worry about that. Well, I've I've looked at Cracker Barrel's. And that sounds fun. And it sounds like Jim Ross loves Cracker Barrel. They both sound so fun. I feel like Cracker Barrel's the the kind of place I'd want to live. Like a down home, nice country place with some rocking chairs and a bunch of toys inside. That just seems like a lot of fun. You can't live in a Cracker Barrel, you idiot. Why not? It's got candy everywhere. Skeeter, are you still sleeping in the Chuck E. Cheese? I sleep by the Chuck E. Cheese. It's too close. You can't live in, an, in a Cracker Barrel. It's a restaurant. Uh, wait a minute. Part of it's a restaurant, but part of it's like a fun place with toys and candy. Yeah, it's it's a shop attached to a restaurant. What's your fucking point? Yeah, you could live in the shop, right? What are you saying? No, you can't fucking, you can't walk into a fucking Walmart and say, I'm going to live here. I'm going to start living here now. Who do I pay rent to? That's a that why can't I you not why not? Because it's got it's got clothes everywhere. That's like a closet. They got toys everywhere. That's like a toy chest. And they got bathrooms. That's like the bathroom. Do you think that we could I wonder if we like slept in a Walmart, like how many nights we could get away with it? That's free rent. At least three. Why? How do you know that? Uh I done it. <laughs> really? Yeah. What happened? 
I got real sleepy. It was after chair shot class one day, and you told me to pick up some supplies. I fell asleep there, and they said with the security footage, they saw me that I was there for three days, just passed out. Hmm. Shit. I wondered what happened here, but I stopped really giving a shit after like five minutes. I was worried I had a concussion, so I thought I'd just sleep right through it. Yeah, that's what, that's what you're supposed to do. In October 2019, Allen entered contention for the AEW World Championship and challenged Chris Jericho for the championship on October 16th of Dynamite. But after losing and being handcuffed and put into the walls of Jericho, Darby Allen showed a lot of heart. Did Darby Allen gain even more respect for you that night, Marky Extreme? I mean, at my level of respect for anybody in this business is, you know, way under me. But like, um, you know, I could understand how you would think that he would gain some more respect for me after that night. But like, honestly, I, I just think he's a cool guy that I'd like to hang out with and shoot jackass tapes with. But like, I don't really, you know, as far as his successes in wrestling, that's where I draw the line because then that kind of stuff starts to piss me off. So what pisses you off that he wrestled for the world championship against Chris Jericho on, on television? Yeah, because it wasn't me, Skeeter. I don't have to explain this. Yeah, but shouldn't you be happy for your friends in he's wrestling? Not, I, he's not my friend. I wish he was. Maybe if he was my friend, I would care. You know, but he doesn't return my phone calls. That's tough. I know how that feels when you don't answer my phone calls. Yeah, well, then you know how I feel. On November 7, 2020, the AEW pay-per-view full gear, Darby Allen will get the biggest win of his career to date by defeating Cody Rhodes for the AEW TNT Championship. Obviously, this was a huge moment, and I'm very proud of his success, and I think Marky Extreme would be if he was friends with him. But I don't understand one thing about this. AEW has a show called Dynamite, and they have a TNT Championship, but nothing blows up. Whenever I see Wiley e. Coyote use dynamite and TNT on the Roadrunner, stuff blows up. Why doesn't nothing blow up? It's a good question, Skeeter. I think if they had more explosions, you know, maybe they would pop a bigger rating, you know? So I don't know. Skeeter, tweet Tony Khan. Can I have Twitter? No. I'll tweet him. I'll tell him it's my idea. You know. Now that I think about it, were you named after the cartoon Wally Coyote? No, I was not, Skeeter, because that's a cartoon. I'm a human, and I'm not, I don't, that cartoons are jokes, and I'm the real deal, and I'm offended that you would even say that. Have you ever asked your mom, though? See? What, if my dad is a fucking cartoon? Maybe, because, okay, you're extreme, Ugh. right? And he's a coyote, so... And then the middle name's E, while E Coyote, Mark E Extreme, saying. My fist is about to be in the middle of your ass cheeks. Are we going to do a puppet show? Yep. Yep. I'm going to do a puppet show. And I'm going to put my hand, I'm going to shove my fucking fist up your fucking ass and make you, I'm going to take you to a mirror and I'm going to be like, hey, no, there, I'm Skater Skyflyer. I'm a fucking little bitch. That'd be fun. Then I can drink a glass of water while you sing. I don't know. Uh, can we go watch Jeff Dunham? Who? He's, oh, he's so funny. He just Jeff Dunham. He's got he got puppets. Done what? He, done who? Him. Who's him? Dunham. Dun Dunham. Dunham. It's his name. Gross. He, he's got all of his friends are little puppet people. That's and creepy. they look like they they have such a fun time. That sounds creepy. Wow, it looks like a good time to me. Okay, Marky Extreme. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, and you never buy me presents. But if you want to give me a present this year, Darby Allen has an action figure, uh, and it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I'd like that. In case you're wondering, I ain't gonna buy you that because fucking one, toys are for little baby bitches. Two, 
Toys also cause the Matt Cardona virus. Three, I will be getting you something, but it's not fucking Darby Allen action figure. It's Marky Extreme's talent enhancement gummies. And you know, Darby Lee Allen, while you're uh you're fucking cool as hell, and uh, I think you got a lot, everything going for you. Uh, you are a little skinny, little bitch. And, you know, I think that if you took some of the Marky Extreme Talent Enhancement Gummies, not approved by the FDA, we legally have to say that, uh, uh, then you might get really jacked like me. Skeeter, tell the fine listeners at home a little bit about what the people are reviewing and saying about the Marky Extreme Talent Enhancement Gummies. Oh, they work so good because... Peter Peter Avalon took him when you interviewed him and it made him ready to fight Cody Rhodes on television. So clearly they do great things for people and for Dexter Loomis as well. It got him on NXT. So when you take talent enhancement gunnies in, in the right dosage, you can achieve huge success on television, get paid lots of money and be and live out your dream. Right, Marky Extreme? That's right. All your dreams, all your dreams, hopes, and aspirations will come true if you take Marky Extreme Talent Enhancement Gummies. Not out on the market yet because we still got to figure out the formula because we had some bad reactions from some of the people that we tested it on. It's not approved by the FDA. Do not do not take more than two at a time, or you will fucking uh, you will probably puke and shit. Yeah, I had green blood. Yeah, I don't say that publicly skeeter we're, we're still working on the formula i know that we're the bestest of friends marky extreme <laughs> but some of the other bestest friends in wrestling is darby allen and the sting it's just sting it's just sting it's just it's just the hit man it's hit man brett hit man heart no it's the hitman and it's just sting the sting came to aw uh, and now hangs out with darby they must have so much fun together probably. you think they paint each other's faces and then darby teaches them how to skateboard and stuff i gotta imagine you know like fucking it's like a match made in heaven and you know i think that um you know they probably have a great time you know finally sting has somebody to help him with paint his face and they probably yeah they probably paint each other's faces and you know um i think it's sick i i'm a you know huge sting fan and i think that you know i want to see him wrestle forever um you know, skier who do you think that you know you look at darby allen and you're like oh sting perfect partner who do you look at me and you say ooh, perfect partner Ooh, skier scat flyer oh fuck off okay i know that's 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 a that's You're not a, a wrestler. Wish. I know. Somebody that's an actual wrestler. Someone that's an actual wrestler that Marky Extreme, I go, boy, those two belong together. They'd be really great. Yeah. Who? New Jack. Uh, I tell you why. Cause I know you're afraid to fight him. So uh, stop. Fucking stop. I agree with you. If if, 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 if New Jack and I were to team together, then yes, doesn't matter. I can say what I want because nobody's list, listened past the Anthem Owl episode. If I team past, if I team with New Jack, then, you know, he won't stab me. Yeah, not on purpose. He might stab you on accident, like when swinging something around and then well, accidentally stab you. That's a, that's different. You, what would your team name be? Uh, fuck. That's, I don't think you're going to get that on a lot. No, of I'm thinking boards. idiot. I'm thinking that's not the name of the team that I want to be with new Jack. If I was to wrestle with new Jack, um, stabby stab, stab E stabby stabby extreme, uh, the new gangst ease. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, uh, f- uh, uh m- Mark, Jack and Mark, Jack, m- Jack off Mark. Uh, p- I don't know. I have to think about it. I've never thought about this before. Well, I hope everybody listening comes up with a tag team name for you and New Jack. 
Oh, don't, 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 no, I don't need anybody to tweet me. Please don't tweet New Jack. Don't tweet me. Don't tweet New Jack any, no, don't. Do you know that New Jack's also on Cameo so people can, Stop. so they could request Cameos that are sent directly to Marky Please. Extreme? And Don't they can this. they can let him know about the podcast and how afraid Marky Extreme. What am is I saying? Nobody's listening to this, so I can you know fuck yeah. Go on Cameo, get New Jack to to, to fucking talk to me. Uh, 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 fuck. So you think that's a good idea? Yes, that's a great idea, Skeetle. Well, since we know that Darby Allen and Sting hang out and do all these fun things. What would you and New Jack do together if you guys were hanging out together? Probably, you know, stab some people. Fucking, uh, he'd probably, you know, teach me how to wear a bandana cooler, and you know, um, I just, you know, I could go out into public and feel safe. You don't feel safe right now. Have you been out in public lately? Yeah, I've it's wandered a, around. It is, it is a scary place out there. Matt Cardona virus running wild. Hatred and division. Yeah, math Who, is hard. What? Yeah, math is real hard. What does division have to do with math? That's one of the things. No, it isn't. What? Is I'm it, talking about I'm talking about division. Addish, addition. Subtraction, multiplication, and division. I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. And, you know, this is not a podcast for learning. This is a podcast for fucking uh, deep. I guess it is kind of a podcast for learning. Do you, Who do you think would win in a match between Darby Allen and Sting and Marky Extreme and New Jack? Is that a four-way or a tag team match? Tag team match. Oh, God. <sighs> Definitely New Jack and Marky Extreme. Are you afraid that you two would murder them? You know, I, w I we would, you know, uh, I would talk before the match and I'd be, New Jack, sir, uh, all due respect. You know, I respect everything you've done in this business. EC Dub, EC Dub! But, uh, you know, let's not stab nobody tonight, buddy, okay? And he, he would like, you know, reach for his knife and like, uh, and he was like, but I want to stab it. And I'd be like, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. And I'd probably hide his knife, you know, just to make sure, you know, he doesn't take it out there. And I'd, you know, maybe switch his knife with like a, a little dildo or something. Fucking really be really funny if he's like, oh, I'm going to pull this knife out and I'm going to shiv him. I'm going to shiv him. And then he, when he goes to do it, he pulls out a dilder and he he stabs it in their gut, and it's like, oh, and uh, what a funny moment that would be, right? I guess that'd be pretty funny. I don't know where you're gonna get one of those though. I right, Tammy, Tammy's got fucking too many. I don't know what that says, but she's got too many of them. Can I borrow one? Have your be my guest. Well, that about wraps us up here. Thank you to Dragon Wagon Radio for hosting this show. And you can listen to other great shows on the network like The House Show Show, a live concert series featuring performances and conversations with incredible singer-songwriters. Get the experience of an intimate concert in your living room. Have you ever listened to that show, Marky Extreme? No, because you put you say house show, and that's not my kind of house show. What if they get CFO dollar sign on it? The fuck is that? That's a, I don't know nothing about stocks, Mark Flitz. CFO dollar sign is the, is the, he did a music. He did Shin, Shinzle Nagamono's music. Okay. Well, he did, he did Bobby Roode's. I don't care who writes the song. I just listened to it. Okay. Well, I, I, if that show gets CFO dollar sign, you can count me in. And check out TikTok. Over 16,000 followers cannot be wrong. At OYM Show on TikTok, you can get short, super fun video and audio clips from On Your Mark from all the years that this show's 
been in existence. They're great to watch, and you can easily share them with your friends. Plus, you'll see appearances from many wrestling stars on On Your Mark, such as Dolph Ziggler, Raven, Mr. Kennedy, Noel Foley, and so many more. It's such a great way to to get all, all kinds of clips that maybe you've never even seen before from On Your Mark show on TikTok. In closing, Darby Allen and his new bestest friend, The Sting, are going up against Ricky Starks and Brian Cage in a street fight at AEW Revolution on Sunday, March 7th, 2021. You're the expert, Marky Extreme. What are we going to see take place in that match? Well, I think it's obvious, Skeeter. You got Sting out there with a baseball bat, and he's going to come out there. He's going to drop from the roof, and he's going to beat the shit out of everybody with a baseball bat. And then, oh, you know, then what's going to happen? Burn up a bam, bam, burn up a bam. And then you got fucking Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Hook, and my, my future son, uh, Six Puck Waltman, come out there, and then fucking NWO shirts, and they face off with Sting. Sting takes off the, all the NWO, and then you got Sting versus NWO again, and then you're going to have Starcade, Hulk Hogan versus Sting with Bret Hart fucking up the finish, and it's going to be goddamn uh, fucking the best of times all over again. Thank you, AEW, for giving the fans what they want. Well, there you have it. I'm going to be excited to see that. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Bye-bye. Dragon Wagon.